Hi friends, in this video, we'll look at a few examples based on the concept of sum of first n terms of an AP. Now this first example is from the NCRT textbook. Now let us consider the AP 24, 21, 18 and so on. Now we have to find out for how many number of terms n would the sum of this AP B78. That means Sn is given to us as 78 and the AP is 24, 21, 18 and so on. Now we can clearly see that the first term A of this series would be 24 and the common difference D would be 21 minus 24 which is minus 3. We are also given that Sn is equal to 78. Now we remember from the previous video that Sn was equal to n by 2 to a plus n minus 1 times d. Now substituting the values that we know, we get 78 is equal to n by 2 times 2 into 24 plus n minus 1 into minus 3. This gives us 78 is equal to n by 2 into 48 minus 3n plus 3 or 78 is equal to n by 2 times 51 minus 3n. On solving further, we get 3n square minus 51n plus 156 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation and we can solve this by splitting the middle term. First we will reduce this to get n square minus 17n plus 52 equal to 0. Now splitting the middle term we get n square minus 4n minus 13n plus 52 equals 0. Now this implies n minus 4 into n minus 13 equal to 0. This means n is either 4 or n is 13. Now both these values are admissible. That means that the sum of the AP 24, 21, 18 and so on up to 4 terms is also 78 and up to 13 terms is also 78. Now you must be wondering why is this so? This is because the common difference here is negative 3 and the series goes on decreasing. That means after some point you would start getting negative numbers and they will start cancelling the sum that was built up due to the positive numbers. Now let's look at another example. Suppose in a reality show a total sum of 70,000 is to be distributed amongst the top 7 winners such that every price is rupees 2000 less than that of the preceding price. Let us assume that the first price is A, hence the second price would be 2000 less than A that is A minus 2000. Third would be A minus 2000 minus 2000 that is A minus 4000. Now if you observe closely, we can see that this pattern is nothing but an AP with the first term 
as a and the common difference d as a minus 2000 minus a that means minus 2000 now this series goes on up to the seventh term now we are supposed to find out what will be the individual prices for these positions of first to seventh now we know that the common difference d is minus 2000 the sum up to seven terms that is s7 is given as 70000 this is because the total sum of money is 70000 with us the number of people who are given prizes or n or the number of terms in the ap is 7 and from the relationship of sum of numbers of an AP, we know that sum is equal to n by 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times d. Now, according to this relationship, we can see that 70,000 would be equal to 7 by 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 that would be 7 minus 1 6 into d that is minus 2000 on solving this we'll get 20000 equal to 2a minus 12000 further we'll get 32000 equal to 2a or a equal to 16,000 now this is nothing but the first price so the first price is for 16,000 rupees second would be for 16 minus 2,000 that is 14,000 third would be 12,000 fourth would be 10,000 fifth would be 8000 sixth of 6000 and the last price for 4000 if you add all these up you'll get the sum of money that was 70000 now let's solve a question from one of the exercises in your ncrt textbook now suppose there's a potato race where there's a bucket and on the floor there are potatoes kept at a certain distance from each other there are 10 potatoes in all and the first potato is kept at a distance of 5 meters from the bucket and the rest are kept at a distance of 3 meters from each other that means the distance between this is 3 meters the second and the third is 3 meters the same goes for the third and the fourth and so on all these distances are 3 meters each now person who's the contestant has to start from the bucket point now he starts from here goes and picks up the first potato and runs back and puts it in the basket then again he goes for the second potato picks it up comes back and puts it in the basket and this happens till he goes to the last potato the tenth potato and comes back and puts it in the basket now we have to find out the total distance that the person would travel in order to pick up all the 10 potatoes now how do we go about this now if you look here the person starts from the basket travels 5 meters and then comes back to put in the first potato hence he travels 5 meters this way and 5 meters back in the first go to get the first potato he traveled 10 meters to get the second potato he would have to travel 
5 meters plus 3 meters and the same distance back that means 5 plus 3 is 8 and 8 plus 8 into 2 is 16 so he travels 16 meters to get the second potato in order to get the third potato he would travel 5 plus 3 plus 3 to reach the potato picks it up and comes back this much distance that is 11 into 2 or 22 meters to get the fourth potato he travels 11 plus 3 that is 14 into 2 28 meters do we see a pattern here yes now if you assume this as the first term then the next term is at a distance of 6 meters and so is the third term and same between 3 and 4 hence we can say that the distance that a person travels to pick up the potatoes forms an AP where the first term is 10 second 16 third 22 and so on so this problem is nothing but to find out the sum of 10 terms of an AP whose first term is 10 and the common difference is 6 now we know the formula for n terms of an AP so S10 would be n by 2 that is 10 by 2 multiplied by 2 times a that is 20 plus n minus 1 would be 10 minus 1 is 9 into d that is 6 this gives us 5 into 20 plus 54 this is nothing but 5 into 74 or 370 meters now this is the total distance that a person would have to travel in order to pick up all the 10 potatoes in this race simple isn't it i hope all concepts for arithmetic progressions are clear bye